In this video from Go Repairs, the squirrel flies at dawn. I mean, we're going to show you how to use ciphers. The cipher we're covering today is called the Pigpen Cipher. It's also known as the Freemason Cipher, as it's said to have been used by them, probably because of its use of geometric shapes. This cipher is popular to use as it's simple to understand. With the Pigpen Cipher, you use a geometric shape to represent a letter. Without the knowledge of this cipher, your message can look like an alien language. We're going to show you how to use this cipher yourself and some variations that you could use. The first system we're going to show you uses a simple 9 space grid which resembles a noughts and crosses board or a tic tac toe board to anyone who's outside the UK. In the boxes we place our letters then we use a marker to indicate which letter in that box we're referring to. The marker position corresponds to the letter location either left, middle or right. Try using what you've learned to crack our cipher. Pause the video while you work it out and then press play when you're ready to move on. Working on from the above example, we're going to add a second geometric shape. This shape resembles a cross, but we use it the same way. We now put some of the letters on the knots and crosses board, and some on the cross. Again, we use a mark to indicate which letter in that area we're referring to, but this time we use a single mark, as there are only two possible letters per space. In our example, having the mark there means that you use the second letter, but you could reverse its meaning to mean use the first letter. Try using what you've learned to crack our cipher. Again, pause the video until you're ready to move on. Now you've got the basics, don't forget you can change what you've learned and add new twists to create your own variations. I'll leave you with one last cipher to break and I want you to leave the answer to this one in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video then please leave it a like rating. You can also share your thoughts by leaving a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to share the link to this video using the share the link feature on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with our videos then please click on the subscribe button and on your screen now are two videos for you to check out if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.